We're going to learn how to use Juxtapose, which is a great new tool for um, comparing images. And uh, we'll come back to this, uh, this page here in a moment, but let's see the final product. Now this is something that I created, uh, and this is uh, kind of a, a before and after photo of a Native American who was brought to the Carlisle Indian School in the late 19th century. His name's Tom Trelino. And uh, what I've actually done is taken two different images here, and by carefully aligning them, we can show the uh, kind of uh, Tom when he first uh, got there, and this is Tom three years later. And by the way, these images were uh, very purposely made to demonstrate how uh, this Indian boarding school could Americanize Native Americans. A certain irony there. So let's uh, so let's take a look at the workflow here. This is uh, this is Juxtapose, and uh, this is at the Night Labs, and this is where I actually built it. But in order to make one of these work well, you really have to get the photos aligned. So let let me show you how I did that. Uh, there's probably lots of different. Um, uh, apps that you could use. Uh, I, I decided to use Google Slides because I thought it was something that lots of people could replicate. Uh, and I'm actually going to work with a with a different uh, juxtapose. This is a, this is a photo of, of um, uh, Portland, Oregon and uh, back back in the 19th century with a, uh, a view of Mount Hood in the distance. Now the first thing I did, I'm in Google Slides, and the first thing that I did here is I went to Page Setup, and I wanted to set the page up as a 4x3. It uh, normally defaults to a widescreen, but that's not going to work with, uh, with a juxtaposed image. So that's fine, and uh, now I'm going to put this uh, image here in, and you'll notice that it's actually larger than the... Uh, than the slide area, and, and that's okay because I'm really going to use the slides to, in effect, uh, crop the image. Uh, so that's that's kind of my before image, and I found a great after image. Uh, so I'm going to go here to insert uh, image, and um, I'm going to drag this image in here, and you'll see this is a very, very different photo of uh, of Portland, though it shares this this kind of uh, uh, point here, where um, where you can see Mount Hood in the distance, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this picture over this one, and uh, attempt to get them so that the uh, certain elements are uh, consistent. Now, in order to see what I'm doing here, I'm going to go up to Image Options here and activate that, which gives me this tool here. And as long as I'm highlighting the sort of darker of the two images, which is the contemporary image, I can change the transparency level. And you'll notice that now I can, I can fool with this pick uh, other image. And as long as I don't change the aspect ratio, I can get them lined up. Um, now I've already got them lined up in the next slide here to save some time. So if I just change the transparency, you will see that uh, that I've absolutely got these two nailed. Okay. So let's suppose that I've now got both of these images uh, well aligned um, on, on the same slide. Now what I want to do is I sort of want to uh, extract a, um, a JPEG. And uh, in order to do that, the easiest thing to do is to simply go here and right click and duplicate this slide, which has both images. And I'll go back to the first image here and I'll delete the, um, the uh, modern image. And then I've got the historic image here. And so now I've got two slides, which of course have been duplicated. So the overlay is in perfect alignment in both. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to activate this slide. And I'm going to go up to File, uh, Download as JPEG. And then I'm going to steer it uh, over to Dropbox, where I've created a folder. Um, and I'm going to download it, and then I'm going to do the same thing with another. And I've actually done this already, so I'm so I'm not going to bother. So what I've 
created is I've taken two images, I've gotten them perfectly aligned on a slide. Um, the final product will only be 4 by 5 so even though this image is much much larger than the slide it's actually going to be cropped down to that size okay so now I've got two images I've got them in Dropbox and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start a new juxtapose okay so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Dropbox and I'm going to select my uh, PDX old image here and I'm going to choose it uh, and we're going to make this a little bit bigger and you'll see that we've got it in there and I actually like the idea of uh, this being a, a vertical wipe so I'm going to change this I'm going to click here and that's going to look like uh, we've got a slider going this way now that's my new picture and the old original for juxtapose and then I'm going to click here and I'm going to uh, select the uh, new version here and so now what I've created is I've actually created a juxtapose that um, as I scroll up vertically you'll see that you get to the point where the uh, where the mountain matches okay so you kind of get Portland the new Portland growing on the old Portland uh, there's some things I can set here as far as labels and credits and I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out I can also uh, set a default position to start it at like that which is fine uh, and when I'm ready I'm going to click publish now what this does is it gives me um, an embed code for medium so if you happen to use the medium blog which is where I started with this uh, you're great and otherwise I'm just going to grab this code here which is an iframe code I'm going to put that on my clipboard uh, if you have any number of different sites in WordPress etc you can embed it um, for the teachers out there that uh, and students that might not have access to their own site I'm going to show you how to embed it in a uh, Google site so uh, in this particular case I've, I've got an iframe embed code I'm going to go here I'm going to click on insert uh, I actually have to go to my gadgets or excuse me more gadgets and uh, I'm going to do a quick search on the word embed like this and I get the embed gadget and uh, if I select that I can put the uh, paste the snippet in here I'm going to change this so it stays in this 5 by 4 ratio and click OK uh, and now when I save the uh, site you should see that uh, I've moved my embed right here so I think it's a great tool. I think it's a wonderful way for uh, students and teachers and others to to compare different images um, and I can envision lots of different ways to uh, use this tool in the classroom. Thanks, bye.